Now let's investigate what it means to negate a conditional. So in this case, I, I have this conditional P implies Q, and then the question is what happens if I'm going to negate that particular conditional? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a bunch of logical equivalences here. I'm going to get some result, and then we're going to see whether that result makes sense to us. So the first thing that I can say is that we know that, that I can take this P implies Q, and we've just shown that this is logically equivalent to, I'm not changing the not here at all, but we know that the inside, the conditional, is logically equivalent to not P or Q. So that was one step, and now I have a disjunctive, an or statement in the center and then a not in front of it. And we know that one of de Morgan's laws applies for a scenario like this, that I can take the not and I can distribute it through, but it does two things. It takes the or to an and, and it takes a not in front of both of the two different sides. So in other words, I'm going to claim that this is logically equivalent to, the first thing is I'm going to bring the not to the inside, so it goes not, not p. And then it flips the or to an and, so I go to an and. And then I take the not and I put it in front of the q as well, and so I go not q. And this was De Morgan. And then I also note that here I have this, this double negative, and we've previously seen that I can manipulate the double negatives. Not not p is the same thing logically as just p, so I can say that this is the first thing and not q. Now, this should make some sense to us. If we think about what an implication was, there was only going to be one way that the implication was not going to be true. When the assumption, the hypothesis was true, but that the conclusion was going to be false. That was the only one in our truth table that gave a value of false for the implication. And that's what we have here. The first one has to be true, the assumption, and it has to be the case that the conclusion needs to be false. That was the one scenario. The other scenarios, like for example, when P was false, those were lumped into the vacuously true scenario. And of course, when P was true and Q was true, that was also going to be true for the implication as well. So what we've managed to prove here by showing a bunch of logical equivalences is the result that is the exact same result we would have gotten if we'd just gone to the truth table and negated the column for P implies Q. So we've got the same result, which is good.